As you guys know, I live in Barcelona and tonight is the match day in between Barcelona and Napoli. I can't see. Let me tell you, today it is mid-March, it's a beautiful temperature, almost around 20 degrees right now. And Barcelona and Napoli, they will face each other exactly right there. You see the lights behind this incredible building, which is a museum. They're playing right there, very close by home. Look at that. <laughs> Look, it's getting closer to game time. There is a light, I don't know what is that. <laughs> kind of firework or something and then you can, I don't know if you can see but there is smoke somewhere there and now the smoke move all here and other things I can tell you that there is this helicopter going around all the way lately oh yes baby oh yes oh yes ladies and gentlemen ready for the mission funny hat bomber how you call these things black pants white shoes ready to go to see the atmosphere i'm so excited man i miss so much doing this in milan man so much like literally even if you don't know where to go you just need to follow the river of people <laughs> you, you know what i mean like look at that they are just going all up all up there a lot of people Of course, Barcelona is one of the most touristy city, not only Europe, but the entire world. So I had a feeling while I was walking up that it was a big part of tourists. Of course, you see people from all over. I can hear Americans, I can hear Chinese, I can hear everyone. So, you know, uh, it's very popular to come to see Barcelona. Uh, I guess that's the direction also that they nowadays the Americans that they want to take our beloved Milan, you know? They want to take it to become accessible for everyone, yoo Raise the price and not leaving much space for the real fan. That's part of the game, right? So I just arrived on top of the mountain. You can see there is police pretty much everywhere. They block also a part here. And look at that. There's a lot of people, bro. That's the stadium, right there. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Let's go. Hello, lo evitato per un cazzo. There is a little bit of tension here. To be honest, yeah, I was not expecting. Fuck it. Too much color. Escaping. Here the situation looks a little bit better. This is the outside of the stadium. Still like 50 minutes to go for the match start. And let's have a look around. You can clearly see people up here, look at that. Now, as you can see, guys, we are literally in the park because it's a, the stadium is in on the top of the mountain, right? And this is the, the side. So I guess the reason why there was some fighting in, this, in the, the other side is because there was a curva trying to contrast the other curva of Napoli. So in theory, if I keep walking down this way, I should, should be able to see the Napoli fan. We'll see. That tower, by the way, Reminds me so much the the Bologna Stadium, you know, the Dallara. <laughs> I don't know why, but... A lot of police coming up. Some uh, Faraskelia fan. There you go. Now I found the place where I want to be. I want to hear the champions from here. And the anthem, of course, but... Oh, man, look. That, that's a good setup, by the way. That's a for the pros. But, you know, it's quarter to nine and look how many people are still outside. Like, look at that. This guy, they will never get in time at nine. I mean, look at that. By the way, guys, the stadium is, I mean, from the outside, of course, it was made for the Olympic Games of 92. But look at this place. It's 
incredible, bro. Look at that. Unbelievable. But yeah, these people, they will never get in time. Never. I don't believe it. And the other things that I'm seeing is literally no chance. There is no, no vibes. Like there is nobody singing, nobody. Yeah, there was a little bit of tension before. Kids against police. But other than that, really, it's quiet. Like going to a museum, you know? No museum, maybe no, but so quiet. No chance, no nada. Hopefully we will hear something later. Now the match is about to start. Literally five minutes early, there is the anthem of Barca. That's it. And look, there's still people here, man. I guess not everyone wants to be on time. So the anthem is playing, as you can hear. And I'm expecting the champions, the scream of the champions of at least the Napoli fan. Let's see. in the stadium is terrible the acoustic is terrible very bad well guys barely you can see me but i just left the stadium because i found it that that what i just did is the saddest things i one of the saddest things in football i ever done leave the atmosphere and then leave for the match and fun fact as soon as i leave boom barcelona scored one zero i don't know honestly how this uh, result is gonna how the match is gonna end up but uh, well yeah it doesn't look good for napoli now the match started of course i wish good luck to napoli because we are always a league fan this guy here look at them guys an hour ago here there was like completely mess there was like police there was frogs there was bottles thrown around there was messy all around Look how much they clean here. It looks perfect. What a hell of a job, man. Incredible. It's already everything super clean. I love that. And I respect that. Another thing that I noticed, of course, is the age of those fans. They were trying to really to fight against police. They were like looking at each other. Oh God, look, I got the hit here. Look, I got hit there. I mean, they were mainly young people. And something that I can say about the Barca fan is because probably in the past, there was something related to to policy, to, policy, to politics. So of course, the, you know, the older generation, that's why maybe they don't have organized TIFO. They have more like smaller groups of fan. Actually, when you're talking about Barcelona politically, you know, in Barcelona it means like Catalonia, so of course here is a strong feeling against, especially against the police. So I guess in the past they've been kicked quite a lot and now they change a little, little bit. So all the groups, maybe the historical groups, they're not allowed anymore. So that's why there are younger generation. That they want blood, let me tell you, they want blood because they were constantly coming back to police. I'm, I mean, they got kicked a couple of times and they were constantly coming back to have more and more. I'm like, are you dumb or something? <laughs> stadium is down the way this guy man it doesn't matter the day of the week they have always people waiting outside best kebab in barcelona that was it that was it ladies and gentlemen i'm already back almost back home that was one of the saddest things i ever done to go to the stadium but not entering that was one of the saddest things but yeah it was fun came out just to give me a little bit of vibes of what was uh the Champions League. Ah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Forza Milan, siempre. Ah, ciao.